No man do they call me, my mother and my father and all my comrades as well. Hey everybody, sorry about the issue with trying to restart the the stream. Uh, I don't know what was going on, but it was not letting me start. So, hey everybody, I got a couple people already on. Uh, I was able to start a little earlier, uh, and we got a few people. We got Eddie Cho, who apparently broke his neck. Oh, I hope that is not the case. I hope you're okay, but just be chill and, and take care of yourself. Marcus Eng, uh, Eric Rayner, uh, our tr uh, we have a, Edward Rylands, our two trusty uh, wrench wielders. Um, I see a Cyrillic name that I do not recognize. Dang it! I'm, I I do want to learn at least the the Cyrillic letters so I can make the sounds. I don't, I don't know enough. Uh, I don't know enough. I was I just got a video on uh, to find the Cyrillic alphabet song, so we'll see how it goes. We got Miles O'Halloran, Omni, uh, and Ga PR, Mike. Okay, welcome, Mike. Uh, Lil Wands, the Night Lord, Zachary Weaver, another wrench wielder is here. King Crafter Oda uh, Farad, uh, Farhad Poop, uh, Dr. Steelworth, uh, Pavel Marzek. Welcome, 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 everybody. Okay, so uh, this is, I hope you guys like my new map. We have everything set up here. Uh, we'll just go over what we all have. Um, so this is the current, this is basic, this uh, line right here currently indicates the borders of uh, greater Snotopia. Uh, also, how's the, before we, uh, before we get into this, uh, how's the sound? Is it okay? It does not sound too weird to me. Let me slightly move this also. So it's not, sounds good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm using a different mic. I wanted to improve streaming, and it's hard for me with this mic to hear how I sound. So, okay, cool. But let's go ahead and uh, go over what we have for the map. So this gray line, I did it in pencil just to make it look different. This is the borders of Snotopia, kind of the gray sketched out area. This is all the forest of where you guys were. Um. Uh, this is not to scale. The base is a little bit farther up there, but this is where the northern military base, uh, that's kind of beyond the uh, toxic, you know, mutation. Uh, it, it's not that much farther, but it's like, I don't know if you, it is like, uh, I don't know, like a little bit, like between these two things, like another uh, bit farther up. I can't really point to how much farther. Uh, but we have a decoy right over here. Decoy was completely wiped out um, and burned, so there's no nothing's growing in decoy. But that was where it was. Uh, Easton, which you guys just conquered with the uh, uh, the Trojan uh, truck, uh, we have um, this is uh, this was uh, Snot Stambul, but it is now uh, Byzantium. Snot Antinople is down here. Uh, big caves over here. Uh, Orksburg, which was, it had been Freetown, established by De Red de Gabo, uh, but now it is Orkius' own settlement. Uh, Wolf Tree is right here. The circle is the Dark Woods, and up here is Megahumiopolis. And so that's kind of the way things are right now. Um, we'll continue to expand as we. Uh, we, we have a couple more, we're going to, I don't know how long this thing's going to go on for, but we could uh, go on for quite some time, and uh, this could end up becoming a planetary conquest, so we shall see. Um, yeah, so it's Snot Stanbul, now it is uh, Byzantium, uh, just so it wasn't another snot named uh, thing. do de do Yep, I have a Humi hand. It might have been shocking. So we want to start. Oh, we got 17 people. That's not too bad. Uh, so let's briefly recap 
what has happened. You guys just conquered Easton, and you defended uh, Mega Humeopolis from attack um, by, by Chimera. You guys lost a whole bunch of dudes. Um, actually, I need to get up the... I, that's one thing I didn't do. I need to get up... I basically have a uh, a document. Um, I, I got to get into. I think it's this one. This is where the. No, that's not right. I need to find um, where I have the list. Yeah, list of snottiest characters. There we go. So this tells me everybody we still have alive. Um, these guys are these guys are dead. Soggy and Snore Sleep are dead. Do I do I have everybody? All right. So who we have left? Uh, we still have uh, the Red Gabo. He's dead. Tom and Jerry are still alive. They are with Tree Clima. Red shirt five is dead. Some of these I have I have not uh, upgraded yet. I have not adjusted. Oh man, no, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, I haven't dealt with a bunch of these things. Uh, I haven't updated. Double D being dead. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Hmm. Stinky and Carl have all them. I'm just trying to get everybody. Humius Orcius too. Noogie Boy, we still have them. Uh, the Big Chef. Orca, Mungus, Snottius, and Doppel Crum Crumble scene. They're still alive. Uh, Defurious, Tree Climus, Snotbo, and Steve are still alive. Did Shade and I'm trying to remember. Did Shade? I think Grotbo died. Did he die? I don't remember. I don't remember Grotbo dying. I don't think I. I don't think I <laughs> got all of this completed. Oh, we have a donation. I'm sorry, I was looking off of the screen. Uh, Mork said, "Build, build, build." Construction bonus. Okay, I'll give you guys, um, we'll get a Blessing of Mork, which we can use towards building stuff. Um, all right, so I don't think Grotbo died. I don't think Grotbo died. Um, let me, I'm just getting my die. I'll get a couple dice. Let me get a couple dice out here for our use. All right, and you guys get to decide what we're going to do. We got a neutral die. We got a white die, which is nice because you can read it easily. Uh, we have the lucky blue die, which some of you guys like and some of you guys do not like. Uh, and also, I have a very special die. I have an invisible die. So, okay. So, let's start. We're going to start with, this is mostly going to be a lot of uh, managing things. And I'm going to try to keep this from getting really complicated. And let's try to keep stuff simple. So, you guys just took, you guys took Easton and you killed everyone inside. You did not, there was no, I do not believe you took captives. Uh, you t you defended uh, Mega Humeopolis, uh, looted the Chimera, and you took one Humi captive. Um, and uh, let's start with what we're going to do. Let's what do we want to do at Easton? I assume we want to we basically want to loot it and uh, set people who are in charge of it uh, of the. Of the guys who are there, 
we got uh, Orc Among Us, the Big Chef, and Dr. Krumpelstein. Uh, who who do we want? Uh, who do we want staying there? Um, and pretty much all of the other grunts, with the exception of Steve. We so so anyway, those are the orcs: so Orc Among Us, the Big Chef, Snottius, and Dr. Krumpelstein. Obviously, Snottius isn't going to take over one of his new provinces. He 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 rules from his seat in Snot Antinople. Uh, as far as Grots go, we have Defurious, who's normally up in Mega Humeopolis working uh, in on the on the trucks. Um, we have Tree Clima, who has his own uh, thing to be in charge of in Wolf Tree. Uh, we have Snotbo, who's in charge of Bozantium, and we have Steve. So who are we leaving to be in charge of Easton? Who, who's garrisoning Easton? Garrisoning Easton? Orc Among Us? All right. Well, that, well the very important thing, uh, we'll, we'll get to some donations, so thank you, Edward Rylands. But let's... Uh, Timmy makes an excellent... And we have so many wrench wielders, um, but... The very first thing uh, before you guys get started, of course, is Snottius does indeed pick his nose as he as he decides what he's doing. Um, but it looks like we're going to keep Orc Among Us. All right. So I'm going to pop this open. Um, Easton is in charge by Orc Among Us. He'll have snotlings with him, which are, are kind of going to get the place started and seated, but it's going to be a while before this place is producing guys. Um, he's going to need no Easton Garrison. Loot it. Loot all of Easton. Well, one person is saying loot all. All right, let's get Edward Ryland. So Edward has, with his... With his uh, donation, a character discovers a means of mass-producing fungal beer uh, by using one of the stills in Easton. Who are they? Which two characters become erstwhile drinking buddies? Which two characters develop more bitter rivalry? Um, I think what we do is this is this is my pitch to you guys. See what you think. I think the big chef um, finds beer production facilities, and he wants to stay in Easton. Um, and I'm, I kind of want to make, uh, the big chef and orc among us be both drinking buddies and rivals. I, I think they ought to be, I think they ought to be both. So that, that is, that is my suggestion. So if I, I've got, we got, we got, uh, five yays on that. Okay, okay. Sounds good. So we're going to have... Let me get that. Orc Among Us is the leader. Um, and Big Chef... So the Big Chef is making fungus beer and is going to become... Uh, Orc Among Us's drinking buddy, but also his rival. So there might be a fight for control over this at some point. Yes, Vice Governor Good Boy is here. Hey, Crowley, do you want to come down? Hey. Let me see if I can get him here. I don't want to mess too much to try to get... I'll get him on... Maybe I'll get him on cam... I'll get, I'll get him on camera when we're at the end. Um, <laughs> rename Easton to Weston. <laughs> All right. So, so, uh, so Orc Among Us comes up to, to Snotty. He's like, right, boss. I like this spot. You name me boss of it. Now this place to you is called Easton. Uh, but with a war god here, right? Right? Hey, follow me. Uh, Snotty is like is like narrowing his eyes, and he doesn't 
He doesn't really like where this is going. He's like, so if you take the war and put it in front of Easton, it becomes Weston. And that's that stupid. I want to call it Weston. He's calling it Weston. So it is now going to be called Weston. So it is Wa Easton, which is now Weston. Uh, the big chef is his rival. Well, well, it, the big chef can still have the big chef's kitchen. It's just going to be in Easton, and they'll fight over. They'll fight over who's in charge at some point. We're not going to deal with that right this moment. Um, so what we have? So uh, we are. All right, so we then the question is so we're there now. Let's let's go ahead. What we've what you guys are looting in Easton, um, you basically have similar facilities to what you had in, what you have in Mega Humiopolis. Um, so uh, there's going to be a, a stuff for like workshops. Um, you guys have a couple of tractors, uh, two tractors, and you also have uh, two more trucks. Uh, which are here, but they're not like they're not like big eighteen wheelers. They're like, you know, local farm trucks. Um, so that's that. Uh, you guys have some more, uh, some more. Uh, what is it called? Uh, Prometheum. You guys pick up more Prometheum as fuel, but you guys are pretty low on it. Um, so that's going to have event. Like you don't have any. Prometheum production facilities. Now, what probably can be done uh, is that squig dung, which had been used to make snot fire, uh, can probably be further refined into Prometheum. You could brew. You could brew it. It is. It's not going. Eh. eh perhaps. Perhaps you can also use like the brewing facilities to make like use booze as fuel. Well, most of the stuff you have are all run on diesel. Um, you can also make biodiesel out of just like f grease and oil and food waste. So we'll, we'll, we'll say that, that that is a, for construction, that's one of the things that we're going to be working on. Um, construction is working on, working on refining, uh, making, uh, on pr producing effectively what is biodiesel, but, but Prometheum is like just generic. Is just a uh, generic fuel. So it's essentially just uh, petroleum stuff, uh, petroleum ish stuff. If we combine alcohol and squig poop, that might as well be diesel. Yeah, biodiesel as produced by squigs, because there are squigs that produce oil. And you can use that to make, if you refine it, you can make it into. Uh, biodiesel. Okay, so that so you guys have looted Easton. Uh, back in Mega Humiopolis, you of course have um, the Laz gun. So you, you guys have a fair amount of um, amount of guns. Uh, kind of with the basic production, uh, you guys have enough to get to essentially arm a fair. You don't really have to worry about arming, getting small arms at this point. Um, and ammunition's not hard because Laz guns are simple and shooters can shoot anything. 
Um, so Defurious is going to work on the Chimera. Yep, that's going to that's going to happen. Let's see. The, the Chimera isn't hard to fix. It it wasn't all that badly damaged. Uh, it was shot up a little bit, and then the tr and then the treads got ripped off. So it's probably going to be fine. Um, we're going to send Defurious and Debrain to try to fix uh, the Chimera. It'll probably be fine. They're going to get um, advantage on it. Um, I'm going to go with Standard and Lucky Die. Uh, yeah, they're going to be able to fix it. They're going to get it in working. It's going to take a little while. It's going to take like a day. Um, but it, it wasn't that damaged. Uh, you can take the you can take the uh, the heavy the heavy bolter off, or you can just leave it on. Make an orky chimera patrol it. Have it draw attention. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through. We we are gonna have new green skins pop up, as we do stuff. All right, so we so we we can put Debrain on a new project. Uh, he can build something else. Uh, what do we want him doing? Because we have a suggestion for him to rebuild the Killican. Uh, Stinky is very much dead. Uh, Stinky's super dead. Um, there was the suggestion for One Head, who is going to have to rewire his own uh, nervous system anyway because he lost one of his heads. Um, we do not, how the also most like you can use the what's left of the other killer can as scrap, but it was completely destroyed. Yeah, the the brain is he's becoming his way of mourning stinky is kind of becoming more of a mad scientist, like he doesn't. He's, he's not in touch with his feelings. <laughs> I don't think most orcs are. I think most orcs, when they experience uh, trauma or get beat up or get defeated, uh, but they survive, they tend to go crazy. So, the brain should rebuild the Killican and name whoever ends up in it Stinky. We could do that. Uh, votes on Timmy's. I like that one. Oh, Carl's dead. Carl's super dead. Okay, we got a we got a, a yay on that. Yeah, orcs don't have or green skins. Period. Don't really like the brain is going to deal with it in his own way. I, I, I he's going to throw himself more into his work. Um. All right. Uh, who's going to become stinky too? Are we are we going with one head? Is going to become stinky too. One head. Okay, that'll work. So one head is going to get. Is going to end up in the can. All right, so here's the thing about putting someone in a can. Uh, it can, it, it is possible for them to just outright die, like getting inserted into the can. So let's go ahead and roll to see if he survives. The brain has advantage, so it shouldn't be. Oh, double 13s. That's always a lucky sign. So, uh, yeah. It's going to take some time to rebuild the Killican. It'll be faster than it was the first time because the brain knows how to do it. Um, so that's going to be what he's working on. Uh, there is also something that somebody mentioned before, which is you guys captured a Humi up in Mega Humiopolis. The brain believes Stinky is fine making all Stinky. Okay, like I, he he when he puts somebody new into the Killican, to him that that just becomes stinky again. 
but I, I, I don't think the character of Stinky is going to return. I don't think we're going to get... I think the Killicans are not going to talk much after that. Um, but yeah, we you guys do have a captured human uh, that is up in Mega Humiopolis. Uh, do you guys want to interrogate... Basically, if you want, I'm going to make this relatively short. Uh, he is not. He is not looking to talk. He he's he's he basically refuses to say anything. Some snots foraging for useless things in the forest. Swear they see a ghost of uh, Double D by Big Cave. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a rumor that is now is now. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Um, double D. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna delay since we have that going on. I'm going to tie that in with the story because somebody basically said they wanted a weird boy to come back. Get rid of this. They wanted the weird boy to come back. And I think I'm going to this story is gonna be um this story about uh ghost sightings around Big Cave we're going to loop that into the arc of getting a new weird boy. That's going to be part of that. Um, uh, Snodius finds eight talking boxes in Weston. Okay, yeah. Basically what happens is they find, they find uh, stuff that's all on the same network, but with the With the loss of communication, the Humies eventually stop using that. Uh, they stop using uh, the they uh, what are the Vox the Vox uh, what is it called frequencies? They stop using that frequency. So you guys have um, you guys have eight essentially radios or Vox units. So you can now you can talk to each other and coordinate over long distances. And then we have uh, Snotties and best boys interrogate the Humi. Uh, he refuses to talk. Um, Triple D. That that reminded me so. Friend of mine, uh, the origin of Guts Mangle, if you guys know Guts Mangle's Boys, it's one of my first stories, um, is based on a character that I had uh, in a LARP um, a while back. We were, you know, we it was a foam fighting, you build foam swords and hit each other with them. And I, we went out with a, a bunch of friends to this LARP. And Triple D reminded me of this, but one of uh, the orcs that was part of our crew was a mad boy who went by Bar Bar Bar. And the way he introduced himself was, uh, my name is Bar Bar Bar, Spore of Bar Bar Bar, Spore of... <laughs> Just... <laughs> so it's just, it's just as he got his, his four bears just added names to, letters to the names. <laughs> so I, 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 I thought that was one of the funniest lines. Um, okay, so getting back on topic, um, I'm going to have DeBrain, basically DeBrain is going to threaten him. If you do not speak, I will remove the part of your brain that prevents you from giving me the answers that I want. Uh, and... To brain with his like just has this kind of manic look in his eyes as he like gets something sharp and begins menacing the Humi. Uh, with the threat of you either talk or I'm going to cut your brain apart until you talk, uh, he ends up revealing a bunch of stuff. 
Um, what do you guys want to know? I have, I have, I basically have the inter the information uh, that he. Oh, let me. Actually, does the brain? Yeah, the brain still. the 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 brain is able to intimidate him. Uh, new locations for uh, for loot and fights. Well, you guys know Big Town, and then there were two other branching cities off of that, and then the rail, the Mag Rail line. Uh, he reveals that it runs to um, the basically where you guys are. Uh, the Humies call it uh, Northern Ter Territory Twenty One, and the capital of it, if you follow the Magrail line out of Big Town, uh, you go to uh, Nordberg, uh, which is the which is the capital of Northern Territory 21. Uh, where do the planes come from? They come from Nordberg. There is a military base there. Mostly exists for training and doing exercises in the north. How many gets where? Uh, when you ask him how many gets, like, the brain is like, how many gets, like, how many, how many gets are there? He's like, what? How many humies? He's like, I've, uh, I think the last census said there were about a hundred billion of us. Uh, how many gits in Big Town? He says there are about a thousand. There are about a thousand humies living in Big Town. He doesn't know when the next attack is. He he. This was this was the attack. He doesn't know when the next one's coming. How many are in the military base? Uh, he says he's not. He says he's not sure. Uh, but they're usually a a. There are usually several regiments that are there at any given time. Uh, also, there are there are like arrow units and things. Oni, can we can the next two orcs be called Double and Trouble? Uh, yes, they can. I can put that in there. We're gonna we're, once this guy's done being um, interrogated, we're gonna get more green skins. So two of them will be named Double and Trouble. What other quit? Uh, how many gets in? Do, do, do. We'll get more boys in a second. This is just right after you guys have... Uh, what is this? I have no clue what this is and no clue what's going on. Uh, can someone please help Green Slime and give a full explanation uh, of what exactly we're doing here? Uh, I, I, I'm gonna. Ha I have to kind of run the game. I can't really explain exactly what we're doing. Um, I guess I can. I can do the. I can do this brief thing. Basically, we are running a role playing game. Uh, Snottius the Great started off as a humble snotling, uh, and he is raising a green skin army to uh, slowly, eventually take over this planet of whatever this planet is called. Uh, and he's building his wall. The map that's up there is the uh, is the map of Snotopia, the land that he's conquered so far. Uh, what happens in this game is decided by you, chat. You are the ones who decide what happens. Uh, and basically what people can do is they can donate and uh, make things happen. Uh, so it's like, I want this guy to do this thing. You can donate, and that will happen. Uh, you can also just vote democratically. If nobody uh, donates to make a decision, uh, I will just take suggestions from chat. Uh, but that's kind of the, the really short version of it. We've been playing for a while. Uh, Killican needs a new Carl. Okay, that'll be what we do with this Humi once we're done with him. Yeah, brief copy-paste would be good. Um... Let me see. We got questions. Uh, where do the pickles come from? Uh, is you you grow cucumbers and then you brine them? And he basically he explains the very. He's not a. He doesn't make pickles himself. He just knows very basically how pickles are made. Uh. 
ask the human what this planet is called. Okay, um, for those for those of you who have who have guessed at this, you guys are on Corum Pere Five. This is Corum. You're in Corum Pere Five. You guys are uh, up in basically all of the. Uh, you you get some some information. Uh, you guys are up in the northern territories where it's just very scantily uh, populated. The hive cities are down closer to the equator, or basically, um, uh, but whatever the the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of what is it, Capricorn, the two tropics. Um, that's kind of where all of the big cities are, and it produces kind of a hive megalopolis. Um, and what you get is that uh, Governor Greg runs everything uh, nominally. Uh, most of the politics are concerned with stuff in the hive cities. Uh, the the matters of the territories uh, all are all concerns of the prefix, who are the ones who are in charge there at the capital of whatever territory you're in. And then if you have uh, settlements that are big enough within that territory, uh, those are run by mayors. And then the little farming communities that you go, like Easton and Mega Humiopolis, they are just kind of families. There's not a, there's not a hard, it's like a group of families that went and settled. Nobody's really in charge yet. It's just. I thought about it. I thought about it, but it it'll be so the, it'll it'll be Greg and, and Snotty is coming to if if you guys get far enough along, like you guys are one of many many problems plaguing uh, Corum Perry Five, and you're probably um I, I don't think you you I don't think you break the top 10,000 problems that are facing the people of Corum Perry five. So, yep. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and roll for, um, our, green skins. Uh, we're not counting snotlings anymore. Eventually, we're not going to count uh, grots either. Eventually, we're just going to be counting how many orcs we have. Uh, the Humi didn't... Basically, he says that he... He's like, uh, ask the Humi if he's seen his big threat. Um, basically, he says that uh, we didn't know who was here. We thought like bandits had taken over. That's what he thought happened. All right, I got some orc dice. That's our orc dice. Let's go ahead. So we got one um, d six orcs are going to pop up at Snotsantinople. See what we get. Uh, two. That will be double in trouble. We add that to the list. Uh, double in trouble. All right. Then we roll. Um, we Now, here's another thing. I don't know if we're going to do that. Th we might do it this time. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and roll another D6 for Byzantium. Okay, cool. Has the tribe been to Big Town yet? Um, Snotbo did. Well, he, he scouted it out. He didn't go into Big Town. Uh, he went down to where it was and looked at what was there. Uh, 
Oh, we got six orcs. All right. Are we naming one of the orcs red shirt six? Uh, well, let, let's. Uh, this will be the last question. So, what does the Humi say about Big Town? Uh, uh, he calls it Grosse Stadt. Uh, uh, Grosse Stadt, actually. Uh, and he says that it's run. It's run by um, uh, the the old man that that uh, Snotbo saw when he scattered out the the town uh, is Gerhard Schmidt. He's the mayor. He runs things there. Uh, there is a unit of PDF there. It's not a full. It's like a. It's it's like a brigade. It's not a full regiment. <laughs> it's a stupid name. It is called. It's called Big Town. Anyone who speaks German, I hope. I hope is entertained. Uh, of what of what the name is in German, <laughs> it it is in fact called Big Town. <laughs> um, okay, so we're done. We're done uh, interrogating him. He's going to get converted into a servitor for the next Killican. Um. Hey, Gary. Uh, we are now naming orcs. Uh, Hammer time. Uh, red shirt six. Let's go with, yeah, I'm going to go with, so we have, uh, let's go, I'm going to pull out the lit, hold on, I'm going to make this a separate thing just so I can look at it while reading chat. All right. More orcs to add to the list. Orcs, Dublin Trouble, there in Snotantinople. Um, and then we have, uh, uh, let's go red shirt six. He is an orc that wears a red shirt. Um, and then what was the other one? Was hammer time. We'll do hammer time. Uh, booty. Can one of the orcs be called Gary? All right, we can do Gary, sure. Um, I'd rather not do booty. I know. Uh, the green foot. I can do the green foot. Uh, Jason Bourne, because this is all. I like that one because. Jason, Jason Bourne. Um, and then to green foot. You guys got a fair amount of orcs. Um, and then we got one, two, three, four, five. We have four. We need two more. Uh, Toofy looks good. I like Toofy. Well, here's the... So, yes. Um, Edward Rylands, because so many orcs show up at the same time in that settlement, they immediately get into a brawl to see who is the toughest and inadvertently make a fighting pit in that settlement. That's being Byzantium, so... Uh, yes, they are. Uh, they're also going to fight. This is the thing. They're going to fight Snotbow over being in charge. Gary and Steve should be friends. All right. Let me mention that in Gary. Steve can be his grot pal because Steve is not in charge of anything. And I still need one more, one less, one, one, two, three, 
four, five, six. Oh, that's six. We have six. How big is Snopper? He's he's big. He's he's pretty big. He could win. Squigs escape Easton. They roam area now. Yeah, basically the squigs that you brought along kind of scatter and are, are wandering around the area. Uh, they're going to kind of, so Easton's over here, and there's kind of like a grassy plain around here. The squigs are kind of slowly going to uh, infest this area um, and kind of take over the local flora and fauna. So it's going to take a while. That That is happening. It'll be an orcification of that area. Sounds good to me. Oh, Weston. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me. Eh. Weston. It's Weston now. Make that a little nicer so I can actually read it. Weston. Easton, I thought you said Weston. Um, so yeah, all right, let's let us uh, continue because now we have grants. I'm gonna have to go back and reorganize this to make it a little bit better. So we're gonna have, um, uh, I think I might just do. I just might do numbers because I think we're getting to the point where we're going to get too many grots. Um, cause we, well, we'll see how many we get. Um, cause we're going to, we have, cause we got two D D six of, uh, orcs. Uh, where's the, um, and then we have, uh, snot, Antinoble, big cave, mega Humeopolis and Byzantium. We get grots popping up. So let's, let me get that in. Uh, let me get, so we got Byzantium. Byzantium, and then it's not Antinople. And we have Mega Humeopolis. And a uh, big cave. So we got one d six for each of these guys. Uh, up to do we want to do we want to name all of these guys? At at some point we're going to stop naming grots. I think this is going to be the last round for roll for growing boys. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we'll do. Okay, we'll go. We'll do. We'll do. This will be the last round. I think of naming grots. After this, grots are kind of be, going to become like snotlings. Uh, maybe one will, they'll be around and they'll do things, uh, but they're going to get to function more as mobs than they will be individual characters. Or you can like grab, like it's going to be more about how many orcs are there. Um, but let's go ahead, let's get uh, Byzantium. They get five grots. Five grots for Byzantium. Uh, Snot Antinople. Jeez, six. We're going to have a lot of names going. So you guys will all have a chance to get names. Don't start posting them yet because I'm going to, I'm finishing rolling and then I'm going to look back at chat. Um, three for Mega Humeopolis, which makes sense. Uh, and then we also have Big Cave. Also six at Big Cave. So start at Byzantium. Let's get some get some names. Uh, all right, let's take a look. I'm, I'm, this is going to be the last round of, of name getting a, a grot named Snot. Okay. A grot named Grot. We have a grot named Grot and a grot named Snot. We have a donation, which I'm not sure what it is. Uh, seeing the fight pit, the grots fight each other to grow stronger. 
Okay, we will. That will that will occur. Thank you, Miles, for the donation. Uh, we'll deal with the fight pit in um, in Byzantium in a second. Um, Grot name Snot uh, Greengo. Didn't we have somebody named Greengo before? Didn't he die? Maybe not. Greengo. We got three more for there. Uh, six Shooter. That works. Uh, a Grot with a Blasta that is a revolver. Um, we need two more. Paint by numbers. Paint. Okay, fine. We want to. I will name them whatever you want. We got to just get. Um, paint by numbers. He likes painting numbers on things. That is that is what I've decided he's doing. Um, young sniff. We'll do that. So that's um, in Byzantium. And we got five for Snot Antinope. Uh, oh no, it was five for Byzantium. And then, so Young Sniff is going to go to Snot Antinople. I could just start making stuff up. I don't know if you, how many of you guys would know if I really. Uh, Zussie Daka, you are correct. One of them is named Zussie Daka. It's funny when I write the when I write the scripts for these, and everyone's like, "Oh my goodness, your names are so funny." I'm like, "I I don't have anything to do with the names of these characters. I have nothing to do." Um, Sun Tzu, too. yeah, Sun Tzu died. We can do Sun Tzu too. Sun Tzu too, which also sounds very silly. Um, Uh, Gimme and Gob Ross. I like that. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. I need one more for Snotantinople. Uh, we can go too. Let's let's put too fast and too furious in Mega Humiopolis. Um, Snotter Garden, yeah, sure. Snotter Garden. And then two for Mega Humiopolis are going to be too fast and too furious. And then we got six for Big Cave. Samurai Grot. Mm. Sure. Samurai Grot. Um, One-Eyed. Got one eye. We already have a sus name. We already have a Zussy Daka. I don't need sus sus. We already have Sun Tzu too. He's added. Um, not working today. Uh, too fast, too furious. We got that Mr. Rogers. Yeah, we can do that. I am going to make, instead of Rogers being spelled that way, uh, he is uh, R-O-G-A-Z. Mr. Rogers! Uh, Boned. I'm going to do Boned. One, two, three. Boned. Um... Grokio Grift. Sure. Uh, 
Uh, Crash Grotikut. Yeah, that'll be the last one. Uh, one, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that'll be Crash. Crash Grotikut. Okay. Uh, hope you're doing okay, No Man. Yep, I'm doing good. I work on day on the days No Man streams, so I'm not here long even then. Appreciate that when you do come. Um, names accomplished. Uh, always denied your hillbilly works. Where did you put them? It's just a it's a it's a high volume of stuff. Where are your hillbilly works? Oh, Hillbill and give him a shotgun. You got too fast and too furious. I mean, I can't pick everybody's thing. Some of it is things that catch my eye. What's going to happen in Corn Perry 5? Who knows? Who knows? Just been busy a lot since I moved. Yeah, I'm, I'm also going to be dealing with some busy stuff. Because I have an inter my internship for uh, being a counselor is going to start on October 10th, and then I'm going to be working 20 to 30 hours a week, so uh, or doing the internship 20 to 30 hours a week. So I'm not going to spend as much time making uh, this kind of content. But you know, I'll, I'll, I don't know what that's going to do to my release schedule. So I need to, you guys to kind of, you know, stick with me. Okay. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to, that's going to be kind of, there's going to be more stuff to do, but I think what the drama of this is going to be is uh, in Byzantium, um, the fights amongst the orcs. Uh, let's, we're going to have them fight. And what I'm going to do, they're all kind of even because they're going to immediately fight. They're going to form the, the fighting pit. Uh, let me do, do, do. We have orcs. All right. So we have, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a D6. We got red shirt, six, hammer time, Gary, uh, Jason Bourne, the green foot and Toofy. And one of them is going to become dominant orc. Um, and then that guy's, so after beating up all the orcs, he's going to be in charge. And then that guy's going to challenge snot though. So let's see who we got. So five. Um, actually, I'm going to I'm going to make a an executive decision because that would be the Greenfoot. But given the nature of uh, of Byzantium, I'm going to call it Jason Bourne is the one who is the bestest and sneakiest orc. Oh my goodness, we got. I was looking was not looking at chat. We got donations. Thank you. Um, um, <laughs> is there Kubelwagens in Big Town? Uh, I don't know what a Kubelwagen is. Some kind of wagon. I'm going to find out what a Kubelwagen is. We'll get to you, Eric, uh, Edward, R Eric, Edward Rylands. Just one second. All right. I'm going to, the heck is a Kubel, what are Kubelwagens? Yeah, I like the way that looks. Is this is this a is this a World War II or is this just a general? Is this kind of a German Jeep bucket seat car? Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. It's yeah. It's similar to similar to yeah. There there are there are es essentially uh, German versions of Jeeps. That would be the English equivalent. They're around. All right. So some of the Gretchen start bashing things together, realizing that some of it makes a noise they like. They form a band of musicians. Is this encouraged? What do they make music about? All right. Um, oh, goodness. You're giving me stuff. I got a grot band. So the grot band... Um, that's going to be another plot thing, but that's going to take some time. Um, we'd need, a, I guess we'd need a five. 
we'll deal with that later. Um, I think that could be something that I don't know where we're going to fit that in. And who's going to be in the band? Um, I'll figure it out. I, I will, I will, I don't, cause I don't know how to begin to, that's, that's a couple of things that need to happen, which is who is it? Where is it? Um, what do they do? But I think they're kind of going to be an early version. I think it would be in mega Humiopolis would be kind of the place where it makes the most sense. Um, there'd be a gathering up there. We'd have to shift some guys around because Mega Humiopolis got very much depleted of, of Graz. Um, we'll figure it out. Um, I'm going to set that aside for the moment, I think. I think, I think I'm going to come back to that and figure that out. But I think we now, so we now have Jason Bourne is going to fight Snodius. So uh, they have decided they're going to do uh, a sneaky get competition where basically they're going to sneak around in the woods uh, around uh, um, so what the, yeah, what they're not, it's not going to be a sniper duel it's going to be a stabby duel and it's I, I think I think the way I think it would be one where if whoever's the sneakiest and bestest and most cleverest um, I don't I don't I don't I just don't feel like Snockbow would kill someone if he just proved he was better and sneakier. But if 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 Snotbo, uh, would he kill him? I think he'd have to kill Jason Bourne because that's the only way he's going to get bigger. Advantage to Snotbo, of course. Oh yeah, we'll do that in a second. Um, we're going to do sneaks. So this is going to be Snotbo is sneaking. Snotbo is sneaking for a sixteen. All right. Thank you, Pavel Marzek, for the donation. Uh, Jason Bourne is also sneaky. Um, so Snotbo gets advantage anyway for sneaking because he's a commando. All right. Uh, Jason Bourne did not sneak as well, but he did. But he has to be spotted is the thing. So I'm going to roll for advantage for spotting him. So this is Snotbo seeing if he can spot Jason Bourne as they're sneaking around. Okay, so he does spot him. Does Jason Bourne spot him? So if, so Jason Bourne has to roll higher. Has to meet or exceed 16. Okay, so they do see each other. So they do see each other. Uh, they're both gonna. They're both both gonna. Uh, Basically, what ends up happening is so uh, Jason Bourne is sneaking around, and he's like dressed like a bush, like it's it's kind of Looney Tunes sneaking around. So it's like the bush will occasionally like get up and move and like stop, and then you see like a small trap, like a, a little uh, a, like a trash can get up with little grot feet and then move over here. Um, and what ends up happening is is like. Is Jason Bourne lifts up the like sneaks out, realizes that where he is, sees the can, reaches his arm out from the bush, uh, lifts up the can, uh, and uh, li lifts up the can uh, lid, and Snotbo is like clinging to the inside of the lid, and then is about to like leap out and st and stab him. Uh, but it turns out that, like, uh, basically they end up kind of, like, with their knives pointed at each other. Uh, so it's like, so they both kind of, like, 
like he, he's so it's like he's he's like hiding right there, and they basically draw knives and point them at each other, and it's like okay, they both found each other, they both need to sneak sneak again. All right, so they're gonna go sneak again. They're they're basically parting ways to go sneak again. So snot though, sneaking. Not as good sneak. Jason Bourne sneak. Worse sneaking. All right. Spotting. Snotius tries to spot. He spots Jason Bourne. Does Jason Bourne spot Snotius? He does not. All right. So, um, so Jason Bourne is like he's sneaking. Um, and this time he is, uh, what is he, what is he hiding as? What is he hiding as? What's a funny thing he could be hiding as? Yeah, he'll he'll he's like he like is a tree stump. So he's like he's like going around and he's like hiding as a tree stump and he's like moving, you know, do da, 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 da. um and uh he spots uh he spots what looks like uh snot bow uh peering out from uh a hole in a tree, like a, like, you know, like an owl nest or something like that, like a hole in a tree or like a, 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 a squirrel nest, like a little burrow. Um, and he sees like, he, he, he can see like a big nose sticking out and it looks and like red eyes in there. And it looks like it's snot bow. So he like sneaks up to the, to the base of the tree. Uh, and he reach, he like bursts out, pulls out his stabba, grabs inside, pulls it out. And there's like a dummy of snot bow. And Snotbow leaps off of the top of the tree, which is where he was really hiding, uh, lands on uh, Jason Bourne's shoulders and st and sticks his stab uh, right in the base of his neck um, and downs the orc. Uh, so Snotbow uh, wins, and he's going to... I'm going to make that more dramatic when I actually do... Uh, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be funnier. So Jason Bourne dies. Um, I'm going to I'm going to put that in the note. So he manages, he's going to mutate into an orkling and be a full blown commando. He was, he was a, he, he was a, they, he was a, he was on par with Snotbow, but he, they wanted, if he had just fought Snotbow. Um, but I didn't think that would be the most sense for the command to have. I think it made the most um, I think it was the most fun to do it that way than just to have a regular fight because because we've already had an, a a uh, grot versus orc fight and this one I think was a little bit more interesting. Thank you for the donation, De Shark. How did Punching Bag Two and any of the red shirts live longer than Jason Bourne? I don't know. That's okay. Like, like I wouldn't feel too bad because Jason, because a bunch of characters, like they'll live, but most guys don't have a major section focusing on them. Jason born again. Uh, maybe he'd be a yella. Maybe he'd be like a religious guy. He'd make a joke about that. I'm Jason Bourne again.
I mean, if you think about it, Orcius the first, he died immediately too. That's just the thing that happens when orcs show up. I mean, Jason Bourne showed up, he beat up all of the other commando orcs, proved that he was the best, and then lost in a commando duel to Snotbell. So I don't I don't think that's bad. There's certainly guys who've done less impressive stuff. It's just he didn't live very long. Cool beans. So um, I think that I'm, I'm going to make it more dramatical when I actually do the the episode. Um, but I think that's where we're going to wrap it up because we have all the guys were born. We or we have all the orcs that got spored. We got an interrogation off. Uh, we named a whole bunch of different people and we had a dramatic fight. Um which I'm hoping I'll be able to get that done. Um, yeah. What? So we're building a kill can. What do you guys? Let's let's pick let's pick projects for the different areas. Um, one second. Do build projects. Um, come on. There we go. Build projects for the different areas. Um, so give me a second. I'm gonna I gotta write everything else out. Mega Humiopolis, Wolf Tree, Big Cave, Orkberg. Um, not Tantanople. Uh, Bozantium. Then Weston. All right. So let's see. What do you guys want to? Let's. So let's. Big cave development. We found bugs. Big ones, uh, bigger than the grots. Okay, so big cave has a bug problem. Um, I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna kind of base them on uh, cicadas. Like they're basic only in the sense like they're much more dangerous than cicadas, because uh, cicadas don't actually do all that much. But they're going to essentially sleep. They're ba you know they have like seventeen year cycles. So whatever this variety of bug is, it's like they're in hibernation deep underground, and kind of Balrog style big cave unearth them, and so they have to deal with them. Um. Yeah, one head is is going to be made into the Killican. Found copper. Uh, blind cave bugs. Yeah, look look up the creptus from Jagged Alliance. Looks like a caving scene. Okay. Um, are there the me uh, road to Weston? Well, you guys are on. Oh, to continue the road. Yeah, because you guys would need to continue the road system. Okay, so. That can be the that would have to be for um, Bozantium. So the uh, Bozantium, the project they're working on, is a road to Weston. Weston is currently on the water, but you guys don't have your truck road going to it. So we got a road to Weston. I guess that would be Weston's. That'd be Weston's project. All right. So what is what is let's let's start from the top. What is what are they doing in Mega Humiopolis? Uh, that is kind of where our manufacturing is. That's where most of the stuff is getting uh, developed. What new things do we want to try to do or build or?
anti-tank weapons or do we want anti-aircraft? Or bi just build defenses in, in, in general? The Chimera is already repaired. Bridge, build bridge over Weston? Yeah, that'll be part of the... Uh, I'll add that to the... Yeah, there'll be a bridge built over Weston um, as part of the road that connects it to uh, uh, Bozantium. Uh, orc truck. Uh, we'll make another truck. So we have four trucks total. Um, we can build another truck for Mega Humeopolis. Uh, and that will matter for when we're hauling a bunch of guys to attack places, especially with all the new new guys we have. Okay, so um, next we're going to have we have Wolf Tree. What I might do is I might start doing some separate stuff that are just like stories that take place during this time period. Um, so we're we're in Wolf Tree. We doing Watchtowers in Wolf Tree. Uh, De Brain is is most is I mean we have uh, probably uh, De Furious and we also got Too Fast and Too Furious, so they're probably working on it. Jack Maloon is in holiday in Sweden. Uh, don't have time today. Sorry, love you all. Have a good game. P.S. Thanks for being you, man. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jack Maloon. Much appreciate. Uh, well, uh, we, that's not a bad idea, Jared. So one of the things we could have happen because they wanted to develop climbing squigs for uh, for uh, Wolf Tree. Do we want to say we have climbing squigs now that can accompany the the uh, the the uh, that can be as part of the scouts who are mo who specialize in climbing and uh, doing tree stuff. Okay, we'll we'll have them develop sl uh, climbing squigs. So wolf tree has has like they're like spider squigs. Um, um, all right, what's happening in big cave besides the bug problem? Um, it can't just be the bug problem where they they're going to fight it, but it expands big cave a lot. And gives access to new minerals. Do we want to do that? That it basic the the thing is the burrows of the bugs um, basically just give them access to to deeper stuff and more minerals. Squig off takes time. That's squig off is good. You guys need to have. There's some stuff that you guys are just not going to be able to get until you have a really big mob. Squig offs are one of them. Uh, Mega Humia. So that'll be next. So next, armor up the trucks. We'll add that. We'll add that to Mega Humiopolis. Dig deeper. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the cicadas are going to they're going to expand Big Cave, which is going to increase the rate at which it's not going to happen immediately, but it'll increase the spore rate. Like we'll get more guys from Big Cave, and also it's going to give us access to new minerals. I'm going to say that. All right, Orkberg. I kind of want to um, nominate Orkberg to be the location for the band that that's going to be where the band develops. Uh, Cause it's right now it's basically just snotlings. Um, it's going to take a while before grots pop up, but I think that's a good place for the band to, um, the band to pop up. That is my suggestion for Orkberg. 
Yeah, the revolution still lives. I, I feel like the de, de red gabo. We can get some. We can get some like red. Do do some kind of red army choir type stuff. But that was never what they were called. They're like the Alexandrov. Uh, in, in English, in in America, we the the there's you know the Russian army. Uh, like choir thing. Uh, we always called it the Russian Red Army Choir. That's like what you call it in America, but it's called like the Alexandrov Ensemble, I think is what it's actually called. So we could do some stuff like that. All right, let's do it. I'm going to do that. That's going to be where the band shows up. Um, Uh, they're going to come up with some like revolutionary anthems and things. All right. Uh, then we have Snotantinople. What's happening in Snotantinople? Pretty much anything could happen in Snotantinople. Um, I don't think it's quite as industrialized. We still have Peg Leg. Um, peg Leg is, probably is able to get a prosthetic now. Um Pegleg's been around for a long time, but he's kind of fallen out of. He's kind of just building housing for. He's kind of fallen off of like being on the forefront of things. He kind of stayed a snotling because he got injured. He's super old for being a snotling. He's incredibly old for being a snotling. Because he, he basically my rule is he has to fight a grot in order to grow. Well, we'll deal with. I, I, I want to deal do something with peg leg. You could say assist peg leg to assist the, the brain. Yeah, that'll that'll work. That'll work. All right, we'll we'll do that. Um, but what's happening in 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 uh, Snotantinople? We'll decide what's happening in Snotantinople, and then what's happening in Byzantium. And then I think I'm going to end the stream. Orc Diner. We want to build an Orc Diner. Snot Fire Throwers. That's not a bad idea. Open Orc Bar. Well, the Big Chef is down in Weston. The Big Chef's kitchen is over in Weston. Build a temple to Gork and Mork. I'm trying to see some things that people uh, agree on. Kind of the diner, and there's also like a bar. So kind of the diner bar. Snot throwers. That's two for snot fire throwers. Two for temple. Three, a Hagia Sophia. All right, we can do that. We can do, we can basically, it is snot Antinople. We can build the uh, three for snot fire throwers. Uh, but we got three for the temple, and I'm, and if it's tied, I'm leaning towards Hagia Sophia just because I think. Uh, and I'll I'll figure out a funny name for it. Um, temple. Okay, let's go. Let's go with the all right. So they're building the big temple, and then we got Byzantium. What are we doing, in Byzantium? So we got that we, we we just have Byzantium the uh, training we we definitely have a a fighting pit which doesn't really that doesn't require a whole lot of 
Yeah, we can get the weird boy in charge of temple. That's not a bad idea. That's a good suggestion. I'm going to do that. Um, um, but I, the new weird boy will be in charge of it, but I want to tie that in. Well, like I said, there's a bunch of stories here that are going to be hard to kind of fit in the main narrative. And what I might do is kind of take a break and do some short stories of like stuff that's just happening in Snotopia, like during this period. Um, so I think I think what we'll do is this will be like the. Uh, I think this will be the, this is kind of the end of the first phase of like um, conquering the area around Snotantinople. And the, ne the, ne the next phase is going to be the war with Big Town. I think it's the next thing to do. The weird boy needs a name. It's not time to name him though. He's not popping up until I deal with that in a second. We won't, I don't know if we're going to do a time skip. Uh, some time is going to pass with all the stuff that's going to happen because the humies have to kind of reorganize and like plan how they're going to attack. Um, but we still need to figure out what are we doing in Byzantium? That's the commando area. I think it triple D can be the. I'm going to name. I'm going to put triple D as a possible name. Hmm. Purple smoke bombs make better commandos. I well, certainly can make the orcs that popped up there. They'll they'll all be command. They'll be a commando squad. Focus on getting purple dye. We can do that. We, could, uh, we got purple smoke bombs. Purple dye. Purple smoke smoke bombs aren't very useful. They will they'll just the smoke itself will be invisible. Um, we don't know what happens if Byzantium if Byzantium because it's a commando town. Uh, not gonna be able to get a squiggle for a while. Squiggles are kind of big. They're part of big laws. Um, I'm going to declare that something secret is happening at Byzantium. Somebody made a good point. Something secret is happening there, which you guys can, when the story comes out, you'll hear, oh, I think it's, even the story, I think when I do the episode, uh, I think I'm going to keep it secret until, until the, it is time. Secret stuff, secret stuff is happening. So we got Mega Humiopolis, they're building another truck and they're going to armor up the other trucks. Uh, climbing spider squigs will be developed in Wolf Tree. Uh, there's going to be a bug problem in Big Cave. It's going to be the cicadas. That's going to expand Big Cave and uh, up the the sporing rate and also give access to like new materials. Um, so like things can actually be um, built from scratch. Um, then we have Orkberg, uh, which is just snotlings in the moment, but we're going to have the red band arise there and sing some revolutionary songs. So Antinople is going to start building the uh, a Hagia Sophia, uh, and there'll be a new weird boy that's in charge of it, possibly named Triple D. Byzantium's doing something secret, and then Weston, there's going to be uh, some, an effort to build the road uh, to Weston to, uh, so that truck can reach it. Uh, as, as far as we know, there were Skaven on, in, in, uh, in the Hive cities, at least. All right. I think we're going to wrap up there. It's been about an hour and a half. Uh, thank every, thank you all for playing. Um, let's, I don't know if I can get the whole thing. I know, um, so Dr. Steelworth donated, so thank you. 
He donated again for the orc truck. Pavel Marzek also donated. Uh, Pavel Marzek donated a second time. The shark donated. So thank you. I know Edward Rylands donated uh, a bunch as he is wont to do. Unfortunately, I can't scroll back farther than that. But every single person who donated, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Uh, I think it's a fun way to make the stream a bit more interesting. Uh, and, yeah, it lets me, it lets me do what I love. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Some, so thank you all. Uh, I think we're going to call it here. Uh, you're all very welcome. And, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I think we're going to call it here, and no man out.